The rifle is an iconic part of the American landscape, used by sharpshooters in the Revolutionary War, and improved by manufacturers like Remington and Colt. The rifle is spotted in many aspects of our lives. Rifles are used by our military, even by our movie heroes. It's used by hunters, sportsmen, and even throughout history, cowboys. Okay, that wasn't a rifle, but that is. The American rifle evolved from the musket, where traditional musket balls were fired from a smooth bore type of rifle. The musket balls had firepower but were not consistently accurate at long range. Manufacturing of the early rifle barrel was done by blacksmiths, as they would forge barrels out of iron by hand. As they formed the barrels, they would then place them in a drilling rig so they could also bore them out by hand to create the barrel for the ball to shoot from. Rifling of the barrel is the act of putting grooves in the barrel to create a more accurate shot by causing the bullet to spin upon being fired from the rifle. Early advancements such as these in the rifling of barrels eventually led to the rifled barrel we know today. As the demand for rifle barrels increased, the need to improve manufacturing methods increased as well. Handmade rifles were just not an option anymore. Outbreaks of several wars throughout our history fueled the demand for production of rifled barrels. The manufacturing of the rifle barrel evolved into an assembly line type of structure. Prefabricated rifle barrel blanks are produced and shipped to manufacturers where they are bored out by machines. There are three common modern techniques to rifling a barrel. The first is the button technique. A metal plug with hard grooves is used to drill out a hole into the barrel. The grooves from the plug leave a desired spiral in the barrel so that the bullet can gain the desired spin and maintain accuracy. As the button is forced down the unrifled barrel, the pressure created to form the rifling leaves the barrel hardened and polished. The second type is the broaching technique. A long rod with successively wider rings on it is drilled into the barrel rod blank. As the broaching rod is forced down through the blank, each ring on the broach cuts a wider hole until the last broach ring leaves the spiral groove effect. Oil is shot into the broach cut to flush metal scraps from the cut and reduce the friction. The resulting effect is a spiraled barrel. Lastly is the hammer forging technique. A steel mandrel is made with the desired rifling formed on its surface. The mandrel is then put inside a barrel blank, while the outer surface of the barrel is machine hammered. The hammering causes the barrel blank to take on the shape of the mandrel. The mandrel is then removed and the forged barrel is cleaned up. In all the processes, the rifle barrels are moved on to be profiled and chambered. The bullet can now be fired with proper spin and accuracy. From the handmade rifle days to the mass production days, the advancement of rifled barrels and the production of them has helped us become the nation we are today.